Hey guys, welcome to A Square Technologies. Today we'll see how we can create a butterfly or a tornado chart in Tableau. All right. So these are my dimensions and these are my measures. First and foremost thing, I'm going to create a calculated field, naming that as zero. Fine. Taking zero. That's it. Like, okay. So this butterfly or the tornado chart is basically used to compare two measures. I'm bringing in one dimension and two measures, which is this count and six. Okay. I'm making the discount as reverse. Go to edit axis, reverse. Okay. I'm dragging my calculated field is over here. I'm dragging the zero in the middle. Fine. Now, highlight the zero in the mark shelf and drag the subcategory to the label. Right? And align it. Again, highlight it and align as a central alignment. Okay? All right. Now, again, highlight the zero. Make it as a text. Okay, now we can find a line, right? Right click on that, format, go to grid lines and take zero and zero lines as none. Okay, now that line has been wiped out. Make it as an entire view. We don't need the two headers, right? One is over here and one is over there. I am unticking the show header from this show header. Right. Now, the next thing is we'll have to label it. Highlight discount and drag the discount measure to the label. Okay. Oh, and also drag the discount to the color. It is in a gradient format. Similarly, go to sales and drag the discount sales to the label and also sales to the color. That is also in a gradient format because we drag one of the measure. Now, right click on this, edit axis, go to tick marks. I don't want the tick marks. Okay, none. Select none. Fine. Come here, go to edit axis and go to tick marks and select none. Okay, and I'm coming here and I'm unticking the show header. So, this is our simple butterfly or a tornado chart. This is at the beginner level. All right, so similarly, we can do at the advanced level also. All right, I'm taking another sheet, dragging subcategory and dragging this two uh, measures. One is discount and sales. Right, first and foremost, I am reversing it. Go here, edit axis and reverse it. Okay. Second, drag the my calculated field, which is zero in the middle. I'm also and here. Okay, now the uh, visual looks like this. Now take this zero and make it as a dwell axis. Again, come here, make it as a dwell axis. Okay, and right click over here, synchronize the axis. Similarly, Right click over here and synchronize the axis. All right. Now, right click, edit axis, go to fix it and make it as a zero. Fix it in automatic. Similarly, come here, edit axis, fix it and zero. Make it as a fixed end as automatic. All right. All right. Now, highlight one of the zero axis 
and make the size as zero. Second zero, make the size as zero. Okay, fine. Now make it as an entire view. The dots are all, all over scattered. So some, uh, select the discount and make it as a bar. Similarly, select sales and make it as a bar. Okay. Come here, as in the previous case, come here, right click, edit access, go to tick marks, select none. Okay. And come here, edit access, tick marks, none. That's it. Okay. The last and final touch is highlight the discount and drag the discount measure to the label. Similarly, highlight the sales and drag the sales to the label. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thank you.